Alright, morning, honey bun. Whew. Hope you guys had a good night's sleep. You got home safely. It's time for us to get on to this jobby job. Honey, it's like 53, 54 degrees this morning. It's chilly. And uh, I am running a little bit late. So, we are going to mosey on to this job. Honey, no stops, no nothing. Oh. But like I said, I hope you guys got home safely yesterday, that you didn't have any hassle, fuss, troubles, problems, or misunderstandings going uh, to your destinations. Oh my goodness gracious, it's Thursday morning, y'all. Thursday morning. I had, I don't know why I sat there when my alarm went off. I laid there in bed for a little bit before I actually started to get up and, and move. And I was like, and I'm racking my head, my brain. I was like, what is today? What is today? What is today? What is today? And I was like, okay, yeah, today's Thursday. I was like, because yesterday was Wednesday and we were going to go to the food truck because we got the days mixed up. It's certain things that have to, you know, that I trigger to remember the days, right? And um, people still out here walking around with no mask on. I ain't got time for them type of games, though. Not at all. Uh, I definitely have to remember today to send the company, Jack Titan, a message again. Because they're sending me plenty of emails, uh, notifications about, you know, sales coming up and this, that, and the third, but I haven't got any response into uh, what I email, uh, messaged them about last week. So I'm going to try again this week to see if somebody at their company actually responds. So I talked to my sister yesterday. I didn't, I didn't chance, uh, have a chance to call back my, um, my best friend yesterday because after I got the phone with my sister, Huns, I, um, I crashed out. I went to sleep. I did. I was very much so tired. Still. I know it looks like weird. My hair is still everywhere. Whatever. <laughs> Look, the only thing I did was put a little bit of product on, on these little, you know, hair right here. And did this. And said, okay, we good. <laughs> it is what it is. This is light as long. I need it to come on and change. Like, for real, though. Mmm. It's not on no countdown, no nothing. I need this light to come on. So, um... My sister was also telling me yesterday that it was certain people in her uh, at her job, certain sectors and sections or something, like, at her job... They had they had a few people that were um, positive as well. And she said, the only thing they're doing, the same thing that they're doing at our job. Coming in, disinfecting, and uh, wiping stuff down, and and that's it. So I was like, okay, well, I guess that's all that they want to do. But the same thing for her, you know. It's, uh, I guess that's all that they, you know, are informed to do. It's just do that. And, but the thing about my sister's job, like, they have on a rotation, like, um, one week, I think she said this, I might be wrong about it, I have to ask her again, but one week they're at home, and then the next week they're at the job, because, you know, they can also work from home, and, uh, I was like, okay, well, that's pretty cool, you know, we, we don't have that option, but like I said yesterday, Oh my gosh. Are we able to get in this lane over here? Yeah. Well, I tell you what. I'm going to go forward. I guess they are truly, truly, truly doing construction. Because overnight, they have, they have scraped up. Uh, well, Exxon is holding at 163 on gas and Shell is at 165. But overnight, they have scraped up the street 
I guess they redoing the pavement or something. Hey, little blue car, get yourself on. Like, you know people got to merge over. And they have people merge into one lane. Like, all I want to do is turn. Are we able to turn from here? Okay, I don't know how this is going. I was not expecting this this morning, honey. But thank you. Yeah, they don't have this, you know, correctly for for us to know if we could turn or can't turn, where we could be, where we can't be. Like, the only thing we want to do is just make a left-hand turn. I didn't know if we were supposed to make a left-hand turn from the light. I like, this is confusing, but I saw cars go over here to the far left lane to turn. So I was like, okay, well, I guess we can turn. I ain't too sure. And now you have, um, I don't know if this is, you know, somebody's extra job that's a um, constable or the police or whatever it is that's, you know, coming in the lane, but they're not doing a very good job of, of how they're having people make left-hand turns, but I definitely wasn't expecting this this morning, honey. Those are different type of bumps and bruises than the ones that's going to be marks, honey. They got the pavement uneven and everything, honey. They... Mm-mm. We're going to have to drive straight in. And then, you know... Woo-wee! It is what it is. That's all right. We're getting closer and closer to, you know, Friday. Today, Thursday. It happens. You know. And, uh... I'm sorry, honey. So I'm, I'm trying to make sure I can get in the lanes I'm trying to get to safely. Okay. So, I don't know how other people's, you know, uh, jobs are doing it or how things are going for them and everything. But hopefully everybody is staying safe and sound. And, you know, I do feel kind of good that um, they allowed us to go yesterday um, for the people on our floor. To uh, go get tested and everything, so that's 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 also that's like a good thing, right? And everybody is, you know, hopeful that their stuff comes back negative because the majority of us, like the rest of us that was there, we're not really displaying any symptoms, like they said, of you know the virus. So um, besides the two coworkers, I, I normally tell y'all about who's always coughing and sneezing and blowing their nose, but. Uh, sure this morning, before I even left the house, comes, I took, I popped two of my allergy pills. I wasn't playing no games. I wasn't playing around. I was like, no. I said, I keep saying I'm going to do this in the morning, and I don't do it. But you best believe, honey, I did it this morning. I popped them two pills, drank my water, and I was like, okay, um, I'm good. Let's go. Besides it being chilly outside, like my nose is like uh, kind of running just a little bit, or I should say sniffling just a little bit. But you know, like I said, I have allergies like year round, and I'm allergic to everything outside except for trees. And I've told y'all the story like when um, it's like years ago when I got um, tested to see what I was allergic to. And um, because my allergies were getting real bad, real bad. I was like coughing all the time, um, sneezing all the time. My, ear, my eyes were always itchy and watery. I was having sinus infection after sinus infection and things. Well, I didn't see you, baby. I'm sorry, you're in the blind. Go on, go on, shit. You're looking at people like they're crazy. I apologize because I didn't see you in my blind, but once I didn't fully get over and I got back in my line, baby, you should have kept going. And once you cleared me, which is once he cleared me, I went ahead and got back over, well, got in the lane I want to get into, but all that cross-eyed stuff, man, get the hell on. It was an honest accident. Well, we 
misreading because they were so far in the blind and I didn't fully turn my head all the way to where I could not see them. So, it happens. Because I've found my learning people too and looking like, okay, hey, you came over pretty, you know, close to me to get in this lane. I'm not going around people like, man, what you doing? So, that was on me. So, we're going to get on to this job. It is a beautiful morning. Don't get me wrong. Very beautiful. But I guess it's just one thing after another. I don't know. It just, it's just, I don't know. It's got like a weird settlement over the day. It just feels, you know it's Thursday, but it don't. It just gives you something else. That's that's basically how I feel. Like, it don't feel like the day. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. Like, you know how you get that feeling like, okay, it don't feel like the day. You feel alright. Or you don't have no feelings toward it at all. It's just like, okay, it's today. But it still feels kind of different. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I still, I, I have to remember. Y'all, please don't let me forget. On Friday, after work, our thing gets to go to the gas station, car wash, and get this thing washed. So we can see out the window. Remind myself as soon as I get home that I am to go in the house, grab the Windex and paper towels, and come like down the inside of the house. So, therefore, it's all good. What was that? That's that MC Hammer song back now. It's all good. No. <laughs> Let me stop. So, uh, try to do that, right? Get that done, get that out of the way. But yeah, like, I asked, I even asked my sister because my mom called me out the blue yesterday, and I asked, I said, uh, I said, did you call mama on me? She was like, she was like, I was just uh, worried, like, when you call, and you were like, you'll call me back. I said, well, I said that because when I called you, you was like, um, you said you were on conference calls or you had to go to a meeting conference call or something like that because you were at home. And, but you still had to do the uh, conference calls. So I was like, okay. Um, and I said, then you kept saying you couldn't really hear me on my earpiece. And I'm sitting here like a foot. Like I'm, I'm yelling inside my car to her. So I'm thinking like, okay, well, let me unplug you from the earpiece and I'll connect you to the car. And she kept saying she still couldn't. I was like, look, I'll call you back when I get off work. And uh, she kept trying to call me back. But I was like, by that time, I was back at work um, and everything. So I had to. I waited till I got home fully in the house and everything to uh, call her back. Because other than that, I was like, uh, I told her I would call her when I get off work. And then she asked me yesterday, it was like, um, are you, do you think that you are a person that's like, uh, that worries a lot, or, I was like, I, I said, worrying about certain things, that's like, it really just depends on what it is. Other than that, I was like, no, I go about my business on a day, and, uh, I said, I'm not like a, a worry more type of person, um, uh, maybe back in the day, I, I
that I can change, nothing I have the uh, ability to change or have, have anything to do with. I'm, I'm not going to be simple for myself. Oh, there's some things I just got to let go of that. I may get worked up and frustrated over some things and have pet peeves. But uh, even with those, it's nothing I can really do about that, especially when it's another person. You, you can't do anything about another person, right? So, one thing you do is live your life and do you be okay with you. That's the best that you can do. Frustrating as it may be. I know some people you just be like, come on now. But you can't. I don't care if you're married to a person. You really can't control them. It's just not going down like that. You just have to let things, you know, be as they're going to be on some things, on some occasions. Now, if the other person's willing to, you know, give it a good, good old try and just be like, okay, well, I'll try to work on that trying to work on it, fine. They ain't trying to work on it. You got your two choices. You can either tolerate and deal with it or let it go. That was it. Those are the words. And then the other thing my sister was talking about, she was like, oh, you know what? I'd really like to set you up. She was like, maybe, you, you know, you can go on a, um, what's she talking about, a blind date or going uh, website, you know, to, uh, but she was like, you know, my friend, she found her someone, she just got married yesterday, I said, okay, well, good for her, you know, congratulations to her, she was like, well, I was just thinking, like, you know, if she got married, then you got married, I said, girl, I know you ain't on this, I know you're not on this, I said, you might want to let this go, okay, and she was like, but she found someone, I was like, you and my Y'all might want to let this go. Okay? If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. And that's just the truth. But my mom and uh, sister, uh, you know, we're Southerners. When you grow up with, you know, you should be married by a certain age. Or you should have kids. Or, you know, like I, I think I told you guys a, a story like, a few videos back to where, you know, and most southern families, a lot of them, you know, they think you should be married by a certain age, have kids by a certain age, and if you don't, you know, they're trying to figure out what's wrong with you, right? Something has to be wrong with you. And you just be like, okay, sometimes circumstances don't work out that way. And everybody ain't gonna get married. Everybody's not gonna have kids. You know, it is what it is. It's not like I'm just sitting there, you know, like, no, 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 no. You can't talk to me. You can't talk to me. No, 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 no. No. That's not the case. You know, sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Sometimes people don't find, you know, love until they're like in older age. It is what it is and it falls out where it does. I just don't, you know, I, I don't know. Every time I see my mom and my sister, or most of the time I talk to you. They've been bringing that up like, I just wish that you can find you someone or, you know, that you have someone who as you're getting older. I would be looking like, okay. But they y'all talking like, you know, like my sister was like, I hope you don't be like a cat. I was like, girl, I don't even like fucking cats. I don't mean no goddamn cat lady. So... You know, when they keep doing it, I just be, I was like, uh, at first it used to irritate me. Then now, I just be looking at it like, you know what? Because um, like I tell them, nothing about my situation has changed. Nothing about my situation has changed. I'm at work. I go to work. That's it. I was like, so, you know, so you don't have no boyfriend. You don't have um, someone that you have company or I was like no and if I want company I know how to keep company that's not a problem I said but other than that no I mind my own business and I keep to myself I don't need to see
sit up there. I, I shouldn't say. It's a difference between a need and a want. You know, like they tell you. You know, you may want certain people in your life and want them around, but do you? You don't necessarily need that. You know, but there's nothing wrong. I'm not going to say I don't want companionship. I'm not going to say I don't want to be married. I look forward to those things. But uh, I even look forward to having, you know, kids if I have kids. But um, that's not something I'm like pushing on my plate. I did when I was younger. And I used to force that in relationships like, you know, okay, I'm getting to be 20, 21 or 25. And I want to be able to have kids, settle down, house, all that type of stuff, right? And when those things didn't happen, you know, you find yourself in a state of mind of kind of depression, right? Because you're looking like, damn, what is going on? I thought I would have these things done and accomplished by now. And, you know, but that's not how that goes all the time. That's not how that falls in line all the time. So, you got to work with what you work with, right? Y'all hold on, because, like I said, I got to go in this place. Where's my mask? Gotta put this mask on, baby. Just gotta put the mask on. Have it right. Gotta get it right. Have it right. And I done make shift, girl, uh, uh, honeys. Look, I done made shift to, to make it. Because all this on my ears and stuff was, was, was hurting me. So I took a big rubber band from the job. And um, put that on my thing to make it more comfortable. And it's not necessarily on my ears to where it's pressing the hell out of them. But I can still secure and keep everything the way that I want to. Mm. See? Okay. Um, I will be back. Okay? Hold on, buddy. Okay, hung on. We're back. Now. Put in for my half day on Monday. So I'll be at home to accept my package from Safe and Fair. And since uh, I have to go park at the garage, I am going to go to Papa's real quick and get myself a breakfast taco and some cantaloupe juice. Now, do that. I think I'm gonna get the, last time I got egg and cheese, I think I'm gonna get an egg and potato. Or maybe I'll just get an egg and cheese again. And, um, cause I still have my lunch in the freezer that I did not eat yesterday. So I will definitely be eating that for lunch today. So I think just one taco is going to have to do it. Cause I want to be able to eat my lunch because I don't know if you eat two tacos you'll be full for the rest of the day and um you won't really eat your lunch by the time you're hungry again I was kidding by the time you're hungry again it may be like 23 and 5 in the afternoon late afternoon so with that being said I just be like, oh no. Um, I don't want to sit there and like stuff myself like that. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss this street. Like I said, I don't know. Today just seems kind of like weird. So I put in for my half day. So I'll be at the house. I would put in for a whole day, but I'm not going to because it's not really necessary. I mean, they give you a time frame, you know, almost like the cable companies did back in the day. I don't even know if the cable companies still give people time frames or not. But, um, you know, they give you a time frame of telling you when it's going to be delivered. Um, I think it's UPS that's delivering the um, items. So, um, I'll just be there at home during the time frame that is stated. And that should give me a chance because it's after lunch hours. So, I'll 
least do half a day. I don't know the slightest red. Like, I seriously am out of it to think that I'm going to make a left-hand turn. Even though it is a one-way street. Um, to go get some breakfast tacos. Like, I'm on one. Straight on one. This morning. I need to get it together, Kimberly. Kimberly. Let me stop. But I do. Um, let's see. Uh, breakfast tacos, breakfast tacos, breakfast plates. Um, I don't think I want a breakfast sandwich. I don't. Um, I'm gonna stick with the breakfast taco, and I'll probably get just the egg and cheese. Okay. And my cantaloupe juice. So y'all, hold on. Okay. I ordered my breakfast taco. And I was told that they didn't have any fruit juice. No cantaloupe juice, no watermelon juice, no fruit juice. So I asked, I said, do you guys still have a lemonade? Like, you know, and she said, well, yeah, we have a pink lemonade. I said, that's great. If y'all can get a pink lemonade, <laughs> a large one, <laughs> with no ice, I'm good. You know, because like we used to have a um, Marvin Zindler. Marvin Zindler, eyewitness news. And my mom used to tell you about the different places that had the slime in the ice machines. And so I've always remembered that. But Marvin's been gone for for years now. You know, um, he's deceased. So I still remember those things. So when I go to get uh, something to drink, I don't get any ice. And so I'm hoping that they kill, like they, you know, wash and clean their filtration um, nozzles and stuff like that when it comes to their fountain drink area as well. It's, you know, like I said, I just don't get anything out the ice machine because it's not like they're fully going inside the ice machine and breaking it down and, you know, on the inside, wiping it down and, and the filters and all that and changing out. Uh, but, you know, on the fountain um, machine, it's because uh, I used to work uh, fast food in high school, which a lot of kids do. You can sit up there. Hi. I'm sorry. Hold on for me now. There we go. Thank you so much. Pink lemonade. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to unbuckle myself. Hold on. Oh. Thing done dropped. Oh, can I also get some salsa? Thank you. Um... What is it? Um, working fast food in high school, our manager used to have us on the morning, you know, we had to clean down like the uh, grill and all that type of stuff, right? We would have to take the nozzles. Thank you. Thank you. We have to take the nozzles off of the um, machine. Uh, like, you know, where you put your drink under in that little um, white, um, some of them are white, some of them are black, or whatever color it is, that you would have to screw and take that off, right? And you have to uh, wash those and clean them out and clean with the, uh, the towel and stuff and clean that, um, the syrup and stuff that will be oozing and um, dripping from the um, machine. And we will have to make sure that we did that um, at night if you were there to closing. And so it would be clean for in the morning. And so that's why I said I keep that in mind. And I don't know if, you know, other businesses or companies have their people doing that or not. You know, because um, you have to go upstairs to change the bags for the syrup. So, um, that's where the syrup and the... Um, I guess the, oh shucks, I missed my street. I'm gonna have to turn on the next street. Um, were in order to sit up there and um, clean out, uh, clean, like I said, I'm, I'm here, but I'm not here. Uh, but, but basically, you kill, you clean, sit up there, the, uh, the nozzles and clean the little uh, peach that you screwed off. And you wash and clean those and dry them, and then you screw them back on and everything um, to the fountain machines. But the um, ice thing itself, 
um, I think it was maybe once a month uh, that our um, manager would like um, drain it like you know he would turn it off at overnight and they would drain the water out um, in the morning you know all the ice would melt and um, and they would have to go we would go in there and we would clean it out but never once did I remember us going in the back where the um, you know where the ice comes out at the filtration and all that I don't remember us cleaning that or taking it off or anything like that right but we did have to clean out the outside and the inside of the outside was every day but the inside with the ice yeah he would drain that every month like he would just cut it off um, when we left out that night so it would just be water in the morning because he would get there early and he would just drain all the water out of it and uh, we would have to clean it out before we open and um, plug it back in so it can start to, you know, shoot out uh, ice. So if somebody wanted, you know, ice and something in the morning, we would let them know that we didn't have any. So um, that's how that worked. Like I said, I don't know if that's for every place or not, every fast food place or not. I don't know if they do that or not. But this was like back in the day, in the early 90s, you know, like I said, most kids, you know, like I know most children, they, you know, their first job in being a teenager, if it's not for, you know, the newspaper or the grocery store, it's a fast food place, or not unless they were able to, with their parents, go get a job with, at where their parents worked at or something like that for, um, you know, the city or county or something like that, then, you know, you, you were able to do that as your first job as a teenager. But for me, my first job at, at 16 was fast food. That was my job. So, what can I say? But I do know we on our way back to the garage so that we can park and go and get back in this building. But I do have my breakfast because I am kind of hungry. Like I said, when I got home yesterday, honeys, I did the same thing I did the day before. I crashed out and went to sleep after I forgot the phone with my sister. I turned over, was snug, like in a rug, and went to sleep. No hesitations, honey, none. I had to get my sleep on. Like I said, it takes me a minute. And like I was telling my sister, I said, it's taking me a little Okay. I don't know what just happened. Right. I don't know if I turned it off or what. But um, I was telling my sister, I said, it's taking me longer to sit up there and really recuperate from, um, from working doubles. Like, I just be tired. And she was like, oh, that's because you just old. You know, you old. And I was looking like, girl, you old as you get. But, and you know, I just left it alone because that's my sister's way of joking. Just be like, you just old. You know. And then she'd be like, I look younger than you. And all that. So, that's her way of joking around and playing. So, I can't say anything. I just think it, you know. I just like, yeah, okay. I am. I am. I'm getting up there in age. I am getting older, so therefore I am tired. I just don't bounce back as quick. I need some rest. That's what I need. And um, I think, you know, I think I'm pretty good now. Because I got some, uh, the other night I got some sleep in. Last night I got some sleep until my alarm went off in the morning. So I think that's pretty good, you know. And I work it from there. Oh my gosh. Okay. I didn't mean to come this far up just to park. Because it's not that serious. And, alright, hun buns. I made it to this job, to this garage. And I gotta get out so I can go inside this place. Okay. So I'll talk to y'all this afternoon. Alright.